I lied to myself. Hello, my name is Kaylee Johansson, and I'm going to do a presentation on Sydney Lawrence, who could also be called the first professional painter to reside in Anchorage, Alaska. Um, Sydney Lawrence was born in 1865 in Brooklyn, New York. I also heard that his mother was an artist. Uh, the resource I'm looking at doesn't say that, but I heard this image is supposedly a picture from Brooklyn, New York. Um, while growing up, he attended Peak Skill Military Academy and perhaps had the chance to study painting from Edward. Morin, but it's not confirmed. On the right is Edward Morin, and on the left here is a picture, a recent picture of the military academy. On <laughs> the uh, right here, we could see a picture from, or it's a picture of the Art Students League of New York, which Sydney studied at from 1887 to 1889. And he also held exhibitions or had exhibited some of his work at the um, National Academy of Design, which is seen on the left here. In 1889, Sydney gets married to Alexandria F. Derby, and sometime in the spring, they move to Cornwell, England. Um, he, of course, continued to pursue his passion of the arts. These are these three that he was a participant of, that we know of, it is St. Ives Art Club, which a uh, more recent picture is seen on the top right. And on the bottom left is a picture or I guess an artist representation would be more likely to say, but um, it's an uh, artist re representation of the Royal Society of British Arts. And on the bottom right, uh, I used this picture to represent how he, Sydney, made regular entries to the Paris Salon. In 1895, he had his first son named Leslie Frederick, and in 1902, his second son named Edward Eugene. But only two years after his second son was born, he moved to Alaska, therefore abandoning his family. He, in, in 1903, he stayed in Toynik, Alaska, while applying for mining uh, claims during that time period. And by 1905 or 1909, he was frequently traveling around the South Central area and continuing to pursue his passion, particularly in painting this time. 
as you can see, here are some examples of his work on the right. Um, he moves to Anch Anchorage in 1915, where his photography career really took off. Uh, the picture on the left, I used to represent moving to Anchorage. And here is an example of some of the pictures Sydney Lawrence has took. Um, his career, photography career was so exuberant that the Alaskan Engineering Commission actually wanted Sydney to document the development of Anchorage and the Alaskan Rail Railroad. Um, sometime after that, I believe in 1923, mm, no, in 1919, he was selling his um, paintings at the Nugget Shop. Uh, which we can see on the left and on the right. I think I thought it was going to be a really cool thing to mention how different it looks now, assuming it's the same place. Anyways, unfortunately, in 1913, or 1934, on September 13th, at the Providence Hospital in Anchorage, Sydney Lawrence has died. On the left, we see a picture of the Providence Hospital, and on the right, we finally see a picture of the man known as Sydney Lawrence. My closing thoughts are, I really want to know more about what happened to his family that he left in England, because I believe he remarried, actually. I don't know if he had any other kids, but he remarried. Um, seemed really fortunate, or lucky, at least. Or maybe he was just that skillful. And I almost wonder if there was a sudden interest in his work, and if so, what caused it, if there was a cause for it. There might not be, of course. And allegedly, he predicted his own death, which is crazy to think about because he was only off by mere hours. But the sources I've cited here is, or my cited sources are from the Anchorage Museum uh, website, anchoragemuseum.org, specifically the quote from the title page and all the information I've just talked about is also from there. All of the pictures were um, found with the help of Google search and further cited, probably incorrectly, but cited with the help of Google search again. Thank you.